This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, starting at verse 2. And it reads, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Shalom, Yeshua, peace, Israel. Call Halayim Law, Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahusha, Bahasham, Rakha, Kodash. On your brother Kusa Gadol from the Camp Province of Babylon, down here in Temple, Florida, coming at you with another quick hit through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. I would like to give double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and rule well being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutation to the hopeful light, the house of David that is scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth, that are laboring in his truth with all sincerity, shalom. And Barak a thumb to the Akwatiyam, the few sisters that are listening and learning in. Straight to the point, let's get to the lesson. All right, so this lesson I was inspired to do, all right, and it's going to not being lazy, all right? Doing the work, okay? Because if you were called into this truth, you were called into this truth by the Heavenly Father. To do what? The will of the Heavenly Father. So there's no need for, for you to be sitting around, lollygagging, still trying to have one foot in the world, all right? You gotta be doing the work of the Heavenly Father, all right? So that brings me back to the precept that I brought out in the beginning. I bring it back out for edification's sake. Nigga, this is uh, Salakia. <clears throat> Got tongue twisted. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4, starting at verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Right. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. So no matter the time, the day, all right, the hour, you got to be doing the work, man. All right. The Lord asked Peter, he said, feed my sheep. And how many times he asked him? Three times. All right, so you got to constantly be feeding your sheep. So that's constantly doing your videos, man. Elder Pastor Harhead did a video, uh, I think it was two days ago, if I'm not mistaken. And he was going into, you got to be doing a video at least at least three videos a day, man. All right, you got to be constantly feed your sheep, man. This word has to constantly be going out. All right, reprove, rebuke, and egg. So like you, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, man. So you got to be constantly correcting Jay, constantly rebuking this place, all right? And constantly uh, putting out exhortation, which goes into, all right, edification, okay, with all long suffering and doctrine, man. All right, which brings me to my next precept down to verse 5. It says, but watch thou, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, endure afflictions. So no matter what comes unto you, man. All right, so Rock 2 and verse 4 says what? Whatsoever get brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So that's going into what? Enduring afflictions. All right, read on. Do the work of an evangelist, okay? Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. So you have to constantly be pushing the word, man. Constantly, in, constantly uh, feeding your sheep. Okay, you got to constantly be watching videos. Okay, constantly learning. All right, this which bring me to my next precept. Let's go to this. Let's go to uh, Revelations chapter 3 and verse starting at verse 15. And it reads, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. All right, so the Lord already know your works, man. So you rather be the Lord saying he rather you be cold neither than hot. Okay, going on to verse 16, it says, So then because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Right. So if you're not on fire for the Lord, all right, he rather you be cold, not knowing the truth, rather than knowing the truth and not putting out the work, man, doing the working of evangelists. Okay, so the Lord will say, what? He's going to spew you out of his mouth. So he's going to throw you back into the world, man. All right, which bring me to my next precept. All right, this is, uh, let's go to Salakia. 
Let's go to Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. All right, so just because you call on the name of the Lord, you may know the name of the Lord, but if you're not doing the work, all right, you're not going to enter into the kingdom of the heaven, man. Scripture says, through much, much tribulation shall ye enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So that's going into the works, man. Because how you think you're going to endure Jacob's trouble? If you're not constantly studying, you're not constantly learning. All right. Scripture said that everything that was written before time was written for our learning. Okay. We'll grab it. Uh, real quick. Bear with me. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4, it says, For whatsoever things was written aforetime were written for our learning. All right, so we are learning to do it, learning how we had a we had a way to live. Okay? The Lord has given us back the truth of who we are, coming back to the truth and sincerity of the Bible. Okay, come back to our heritage. So therefore, now that we understand that if you and the Lord has did what scooped you up out of this world gave you the truth bro light unto you it's time to do the work of an evangelist man okay so the lord just said that he rather you be cold nor hot because if thou art lukewarm he's going to spew you out of his mouth all right so i just wanted to do this quick hit man keep pushing the word keep doing the will and the works of yahweh by shimmy i was all right sooner or later israel will be up out of here man shalom i'm gonna close out and give all praise and glory and honor to yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Kwadash, and double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone. They taught me this truth and rule well. Shalom.